Good morning, church. When Jesus led his apostles in the Last Supper, his key instructions were to remember him. As often as we eat the bread and drink the cup. This morning, I want to remember Jesus like this, but not just this morning, each and every day of my life. I'll be reading this morning from John chapter 12, verses 12 through 18. The next day, the great crowd that had come from, for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and they went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, a Hebrew expression meaning save. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel, referring back to Psalms 118. Jesus found on a donkey and set, found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written in Zechariah chapter 9. Do not be afraid, daughter Zion. See, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's colt. At first, his disciples didn't understand all this. Only after Jesus was glorified did they realize that these things had been written about him and that these things had been done to him. Now the crowd that was with him when he called Lazarus from the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to spread the word. Many people, because they had heard that he had performed this sign, went out to meet him. This morning as we reflect on Jesus, I want to remember what the people of the time thought of Jesus. Not so much that he was meek, not so much that, that he was secondary, but the crowds, the great crowds, they went out to pave the way for Jesus because he was great and he was their king. As we partake of this bread and this juice this morning, I, I pray that you will reflect on these thoughts, reflect on these scriptures, and remember Jesus in all his glory. Will you pray with me for the bread? Our dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning as we do each and every week, remembering Jesus, remembering his life here on earth, remembering his, his death that he had. But Father, remembering this morning in particular the glory of Jesus, the glory in his meekness, the glory in, in the fact that he assumed nothing but was everything, and the fact that the, the masses, the crowds, they recognized this. They recognized his glory. And Father, as we remember this, this Jesus this morning, Father, we pray that as we take this bread, that we'll do it in a way that you intended. We pray this in his most holy name. Amen. If you'd like to pause now to take your communion, please feel free. Will you again join me in prayer? Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of our Savior. We thank you for him coming to this earth and being the example that, that we, can, we can read about every day of our lives. Father, we pray as we take this juice that represents the wine that he shared with his apostles on that night. Father, that, that we will do it again remembering his life and remembering his glory. And again, in his name we pray, amen. And it is at this time that we'll pray for the collection for this congregation, for the work that we do at this congregation, and the work that we support around the world. I want to encourage everyone over these next couple of weeks to make sure to mail in your checks so that we can continue uh, meeting our budget for this year and, and taking care of the, the 
items that we've committed to uh, during the January time frame. So if you will, please pray with me once again. Dear God, our Father in heaven, we thank you this morning. We thank you now for not only the physical blessings we have, but Father, we thank you for the commands that you gave us, the commands for us to give back what you have given to us. And Father, we pray this morning as we do that, we will do that with a cheerful heart, that we will understand that everything we have is from you and everything that we have is of you, Father. And we pray that, that we will share what we are supposed to share back with you. Father, we pray for the work of this congregation, that you will continue to guide it and direct it and make it be successful and, and plentiful in your kingdom. We pray this in Jesus' most holy name. Amen.